Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Stable video. So, Star Stable's looking a little different here. So today, we're actually gonna be playing Old Star Stable. Now, naturally, I don't have access to the old client for Star Stable Online. So, honestly, this is the next best thing, pretty much. So, we're gonna play, and we're gonna see what it's like. So, this is us. This is us. We are looking great. Yeah, it looks good to me. I'll name myself Julie, because why not? Why not keep the tradition going? Eye color. Sure, we'll do some green eyes. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, that cutscene was so nice. Alright, so this is our first tutorial. Alright, let's talk to Herman here. Hi, Julie. Welcome to Eurovic Stables. My name is Herman, and I'm the stable manager. Here at my stable, we take pride in turning anyone into an excellent rider. But before we begin your practice, we must get you fitted with proper equipment. Go visit Beatrice to borrow a helmet, boots, and riding pants. Alright. Um... Hello. Hi, Julie. Do you have your riding equipment? Put them on and come back and show me. Yes. Oh. I'm trying the, uh... I was trying the hot cue like you can for... Star Stable Online, but it didn't quite work. Alright. That looks better. Very nice. Let me know when you feel ready for your first horseback ride. Mm, I think I'm ready. Maybe. It's important for you to save the game. If you feel tired or need to save the game for any reason, you're always welcome to take a nap at the house. If you go to sleep, you will wake up the next morning. If you just want to save the game and keep playing, you can do that too. Let me know when you've checked out the house. Yes. Alright, let's go have a look at the house. Let's just save. I don't want to sleep quite yet. Alright, Herman, I did it. Nice, wasn't it? Don't forget, you can come back here with, for a good night's sleep or just save the game whenever you want. Now let's learn how to take care of your horse. First, you must always make sure that your horse is clean. This makes the horse feel happy and comfortable. A dirty horse performs poorly. In order to clean your horse, you must use the brush. You will notice when the horse is completely clean. 
All right, let's get the brush here. This is my horse, isn't it? Let me just- oh, we're brushing the air. That's fine. I do that in Star Stable Online all the time. I'm used to it. Well done, that looks great. Now that you've shown that you know how to clean your own horse, you can earn extra stable points by cleaning the other horses in the stable too, if you want. Check the information board to find out what to do, and let me know when you're done. And don't forget, you need to buy your own brush at the shop so you can clean your horse when you're away from the stable. Okay. Okay, Julie, the next thing you need to pay attention to is whether or not your horse is hungry. A hungry horse is a sad horse, and a sad horse is trouble. Choose the type of horse feed you want, apples, hay, or something else, and see if the horse likes it. We have a lot of hay in the stable, so you can start with that. Hello, horsey. We got a handful of hay for you. Yum yum. Good work. When the horse is well-fed, it is happy and performs well. Now that you've shown that you know how to feed your own horse, you can earn extra stable points by feeding the other horses at the stable too if you want. Check the information board to find out what to do and let me know when you're done. I bet you got thirsty from running. Well, so do the horses. Always make sure that your horse isn't too thirsty. Use this bucket to get water from the well and then let the horse drink from it. Where is the well? Oh, it's literally right there. Hello, horse. Drink. Yum yum. Excellent. Remember, in the real world, you need to have a bucket of your own so that you can water your horse. You can buy them at the shop. You can earn extra stable points by watering the other horses at the stable too if you want. Check the information board to find out what to do and let me know when you're done. The final task of the day before I let you go is to make sure that the stables are clean. Horses like it when their surroundings are tidy just like people. Take the shovel and get rid of the manure. All of it. Let me know when you're done. Alright. Sounds easy enough. Jeez, you're looking a little long in the face, aren't you? Here, let me clean that up for you. I actually like this one. It looks a lot like our old starter horses. Very cute. Well done. Now that the floor looks like you could eat off of it, though I wouldn't recommend it, whenever my stable gets dirty, you're welcome to sweep up if you want to earn some extra stable points. Check the information board to find out what to do and let me know when you're done. It's now time for you to get up on horseback. Go over to the horse that you've been cleaning so nicely. I'm sure it's ready for you. Hello. Yay. We did it. Excellent. Ma let me know when you're ready to start some more advanced riding exercises. We've literally only taken a couple steps. I think I'm ready. So you think you're ready? Excellent. Let's get to the this exercise started. Pay attention to the instructions and keep the horse in the correct gait. All right. Yay, we did it. Herman, I did it. Did you see me out there? I did so good. Good work. You can keep riding the horse as much as you like, but remember that it's a beginner horse. Once you get better at riding, you can ride more advanced horses. Also, feel free to come back and let me know anytime you're ready to try again. Doing exercises is good for your horse and will make it better depending on the type of exercise. If you perform really well, I might reward you with a medal of some kind that you could stick to on that you can stick in your trophy cabinet. To show what an accomplished rider you are. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, I leveled up, too. Hi, Julie. It's always good to see you. I think you've made good progress and shown that you're ready for new challenges. I have a good friend that I think you should talk to. Her name is Linda. You'll find her over by the jumping ring. Alright, let's go and see Linda. Oh, I hear you're making progress. Keep up the good work, Herman. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, I won't lie to you, it's pretty crazy coming out here and not seeing Yarlaheim over there. But I think it's pretty cool that uh, Star Stable Online has kept the pretty similar terrain, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, I've played this game before and it's, it's kind of hard to get lost because everything is just so similar, I guess you would say. I wouldn't say it's an exact copy or anything because obviously there's, there's obviously stuff missing. The general terrain is pretty easy to navigate. Hi, Linda. Hi there. Yes, I'm Linda. You say Herman sent you? It's nice to meet you. Let me come up with something for you to work on. If you want to compete in eventing, there are many important elements to practice. One of them is jumping. I suggest that we start with some easy obstacles. When you do real cross-country race, obstacles will be much less forgiving. Remember, you need to bring your horse up to at least a canter to jump, and you must clear the obstacles from the right direction. The clock doesn't stop until you cross the finish line after having taken, taken all the obstacles. Good luck, and don't forget to let me know when you're done. Alright, I think we got this, you guys.
Yay, we did it. Linda, I did it. Well done. Please let me know when you're ready to work on some more per more on perfecting the your horse's jumping skills. I'll be here waiting for you. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here already. Um, let's... Now that you've learned a l little bit about jumping, I think it's important for you to learn about endurance. I have a friend named Lisa who hangs out by the old windmill. Tell her I said hello, and I'm sure she'll give you some tips on endurance. Maybe she'll even show you a trail. All right, let us go and see Lisa. You know, I won't lie to you. I know that this is a very unpopular opinion, uh, especially among some older players. I'm also an older player of Star State. Well, I've been playing for a very long time. You know, it's really nice to see the progress that Star Stable has made. Like, look at this game. Like, it is so much different than Star Stable Online. Like, It is so interesting to see how far Star Stable has just come from this to what they are now. Like, I don't know. It's very interesting. I like it. I like seeing the progress Star Stable makes all the time. You know... Maybe this is an unpopular opinion. Especially among older players. I, I actually don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not. But, you know, I personally love seeing the progress that Star Stable has made over the years. Like, just look at this game. And look at Star Stable Online. They have come so far from what they used to be. So it's, it's cool to see the progress that they've made, in my opinion. I definitely enjoy it. You know, I have played this game, and it's fun to come back every once in a while and be like, wow. Like, look at this game compared to the old one. Um, I'm assuming she's on the other side. Ah, uh, there she is. Hi, Julie. Herman was just here and told me about you, so I thought I you might be coming. It's nice to meet you. I'll try to teach you what I know about endurance riding. Let me know when you're ready. Alright. In endurance, it's essential to push your horse to the max without exhausting it. Make sure you're at top speed and gates, but pay, but pay close attention to your horse's exhaustion level. At times, it may be wise to slow down a little. I've laid a trail out for you that starts and stops right here at the old windmill. Just follow the signs and get back here before the time runs out. Let me know if you make it. All right. We did it. Well done, Julie. That was quite a performance. Let me know when you're interested in training your horse even more. I'll be here. Who knows, I might even have a few medals for you to earn that we give out to promising young riders to teach that reach new heights. All right, well, it's getting dark out, so I think I should head back to Jorvik's stables to go to sleep. All right, we finally made it back before it got too late. Let's save and sleep. Yay! Alright, so let me purchase some food and a bucket so that our horse doesn't die of, like, dehydration or anything. Alright, let's see. We have 40 stable points. Hopefully that's enough to get a water bucket because my horse, um, definitely needs some water. Alright, here we go. We got a bucket. We got food. Hopefully you should be alright. Alright, here you go. I know you're on, like, the verge of death. Oh, can you not, uh, drink the water? Now, what's the deal with that? Do I have to get a little bit closer or something? Stop! Oh my gosh. Jeez. Alright. There you go. Here's some water for you. 
Okay, just because you're so nice, I'll give you another tip. Go look for Alex in the woods. She's a good friend of mine and one of the best riders you'll ever meet. If you're lucky, you'll find her by the cross-country race trail. Tell her I said hello. Hello, Alex. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So Herman sent you? Well then, I'd better listen. I'm Alex, by the way, and my goal is to help everyone learn to achieve excellence at cross-country racing to reach their goal, since it's my passion too. Come see me when you're ready. So, are you ready for some cross-country? This is a very demanding and dangerous discipline, so you'd better know what you're doing. You need to clear the obstacles in the right order from the right direction and the cross-country finish line to show your before your time runs out. Think you can make it? Show me. Um, I literally just learned how to ride my horse yesterday. I don't know if I'm ready for a dangerous discipline, but yeah, sure, why not? Oh no! Oh no! You guys, uh-oh. Oh yeah, we did it. Wow, that was almost perfect right up until the end. Jeez. Well, that's what happens. We literally just learned how to ride our horse yesterday, so... Nice work! I think you might have something here. Remember that performing this type of exercise gives your horse experience, so you're always welcome to come back. I'll have a new challenge for you. Who knows? I might even award you with a medal. Oh yeah, level increase. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at all these quests that are everywhere. Apples. My horse is hungry for some nice apples. Do you think you could find five apples for me? That would be so great of you. Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Where do I find apples? I guess it's the little orange dots on my map. Ah, uh, yeah, here's some. Oops. Thank you so much, that was really nice of you, and my horse will be very happy too. By the way, I have a tip for you. If you want to give your horse some extra energy, make sure to feed it some apples just before a race. Alright, so I think that this is all we're going to do for today. But, um, let me know down in the comments what you think about this if you'd like to see more stuff like this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching! Bye!